Good morning, my dear students. Welcome to your English class once again. So, dear children, let us start our lesson with some pictures today. Will that be interesting? Yes. Are you all ready? So, here is the first picture. What can you see here? Look at it carefully. In the picture, a boy is walking on the road. He is actually walking on a footpath and he is holding a toy aeroplane. Now, this is our second picture. What can you see here? In the picture, a man and a girl is standing on the opposite side of the road and waving their hands. Now comes the third picture. In this picture, we can see that the boy is also waving his hand and crossing the road carelessly. He did not notice the red car coming towards him. Now, what is in the fourth picture? It's quite natural as because the boy was careless, so the red car hit the boy badly and he made an accident. Now this is the last picture, the fifth one. What can you see here? You can see that the boy is lying down on the bed of a hospital. Now let us look at some possible questions that can be asked from the pictures that I have shown you. The first question, what was the story about? Now children, you have to think the answer. If you recall the pictures, what did you understand from there? You can say that the story was about a careless boy. You can also say that the story was about a road accident. Now the next question can be, when did the story happen? That means you have to say about the approx time. So in this picture you have to say that the incident happened during the daytime or during the night time. So after observing the pictures we can say that the incident happened during the daytime. The next question. Who were in the story? Who? You have to say about the characters. So, the answer will be the careless boy, a man and a girl. The next one. Where did the story happen? Where? That means you have to say about the place. The story, that means the incident happened inside the home or inside the school campus or on the road or somewhere else. So, after observing the pictures, we can say that the incident happened on the road. Now, the last question. What was wrong in the story? What do you think is wrong in the story? And this answer you will give me in the comment box. Now, it's time for your homework. Look at these set of pictures. Four pictures are there and they are related to each other. Observe the pictures very carefully and then write four questions from the given picture story. Yes, you have to write four questions, not answers. What questions you can frame from these pictures, you have to write it down. So dear children, I hope you have liked the video. So have a nice day all of you. Take care and bye bye.